units. Uh, TLO actually has 500 resources left, minerals, so he can build a few marines. Some hunter secret missiles will try and hit this war prison, but it might be able to actually escape. No, it does not. It gets blown to pieces, but not doing any damage to these carriers, and this is what is so important for Huck. These six carriers is all that he has left, and he really needs to make good use of these if he wants to win this. TLO was so far ahead the entire game. And now Heosat just making a few links here, trying to drop him in uh, TLO's main, but not doing much because these marines are there to save the day. So TLO says he's mined out, which is true. Nazgul is sitting with, uh, Heosat I mean, is sitting with 50 minerals, so he can make another pair of ling and lings and that's it. Huck mining from this last base, I don't think he'll be able to mine from anywhere else after this. So still TLO has the advantage, he has a few minerals left here on this, these gold patches and he does have the only full mining base. And uh, Huck actually has a quite some gas here but uh, no that's not true actually TLO is mining here he can call down mules which uh, will help immensely nice long engagement here actually TLO losing a lot of ravens throwing down some hunter seeker missiles are were not able to hit those so TLO losing a lot here for not much so I guess Huck just took the lead in this game I think the army tab should show that we actually see 99, 275 supply and only 4 ravens left. Is that right? Yes, only 4 ravens for TLO, so he is in a world of hurt now. now a great control by Huck was able to save his carriers. And this random planetary fortress won't be doing much because there are basically only 4 carriers for Huck. With this handful of other units, where have they gone? These three high templars are all that's left for huck along with a single archon that i cannot find for some reason and we will just have to see what happens in the end of this game this has been such an intense game it has been going down forever and it's going to come down to 40 marines, 6 ravens, and a nuke against a single archon, 4 stalkers, 6 carriers, and 4 high templars. These carriers are going to try and harass this spinator fortress. The marines, I think, will be able to kill a lot of interceptors, and uh, Huck has to be very careful now. He is very low on money, and these interceptors, although they are cheap, they are not free. So if he loses too many... Uh, of them, he's not going to be able to replenish them, and uh, General actually wasting one of his final nukes, was that his last nuke? I think it is, he's going to waste his last nuke here on single probe, on two probes, and that is it for General, five kills on this ghost, and that's it, he has one SCV and one ghost. So Jinro is out of this game, he will keep his ghost just to look at everything, but an engagement here by Huck, he is picking off, trying to pick off this planetary fortress, gonna pick off a few marines, not losing any carriers, losing a lot of interceptors though, he's down to 30 interceptors on 6 carriers, that is not where you want to be, and he has no minerals. He is basically only mining from these few remaining patches and long distance mining from this gold base. And Heosat wants vision, he is spewing creep on top of Huck. That can't be nice for a Nexus. <laughs> Heosat saying, no, I don't want my overlord to die. He wants vision of this epic battle. And now Huck actually positioning his units in a way that he can contain TLO in this little choke here. And TLO can't actually come out from here. Still, these ravens are his bread and butter. It's how he might win this game. These auto turrets, he basically has infinity units right now. As long as he keeps these ravens alive, because all these, all this energy will eventually replenish. But uh, Huck can't replenish his minerals, so eventually Huck will starve. So Huck has to engage eventually to win this game while TLO does not. 
And uh, Tielo is the only one who actually has an income, a decent end income left. He has 400 minerals per second along with gas, while Mug that lost is frozen here, so that's not true. And Hawk only has about 250 minerals per minute, so that is not a big income. And Hillsat actually commentating on the game, so he is helping me out, saying that Huck has a few Ar uh, Narcon and Zealots and Stalkers, as well as Hard Templars. Uh, feedback on this Raven, gonna prevent it from throwing down any kind of auto turrets here, but the next one comes up, getting fe fed back as well. Is that fed back or feedback it did? Feedback it did. I think feedback it did is my favorite one. Jinro trying to pick off more SCVs here, sniping away at these. Eventually, he will lose this uh, this ghost though. <laughs> Gonna start working away at Nazgul's abandoned base. And another Archon warping in for Huck. They have to engage now. Jinro trying to fly his starport just to get vision, to see what's going on. And really, these armies, I can't wait for them to engage. This is just a waiting game right now, and I'm tired of talking. I have nothing left to say on this game. It's just going to come down to this final engagement, and the longer Huck waits, actually, the, long, the better TLO will be in this game, because he is still mining. Remember, he has this gold base. And he could actually fly it down here. I think that's when they are going to engage. When Tielo decides to uh, lift this off, when he is mined out from this, he's going to have to lift this off and try and land it here. And Heosat just wants to go to bed, I guess. He, it's 2 in the morning for him. A nice, a uh, lot more feedbacks on these Ravens. Eventually, they will die if they keep getting stormed and fed back. More Archons warping in now that there are no no more energies on these High Templars. I don't agree with this with Huck because these High Templars actually have renewable energy and since he's not mining, renewable energy is what you need and th that's it. I mean that's the only resource you have left is this energy and these four Ravens, uh, five Ravens actually are the only ones who have energy along with this Medivac but that's not very useful. <laughs> and this hero ghost, I guess, is still hacking away. And there is a nuke somewhere. There it is from TLO. Will it land on this army? Finally, Huck engages this with uh, all, all his carriers, his Archons, his Zealots. These Archons might get nuked on. He has to run away here or he will lose these Archons. Every single unit is so important right now. This nuke lands only killing one of Tello's, uh Marines actually and Huck decides to back up once again. He has 18 minerals and producing only some interceptors right now. He has remaxed on these interceptors I think yeah, 8 interceptors per carrier on every single carrier, so he didn't lose that many. But he lost a lot of zealots there, and again, the longer he waits, the stronger TLO will get, so I guess TLO will be winning this game. He does have ghosts for our EMPs, he does have ravens for those Hunter Seeker missiles that when an engagement comes. So really, I think that uh, TLO will be able to win this game. There is really not much Huck can do unless he engages right now because these carriers, uh, they're, they're, well he has to engage to actually TLO deciding to build another command center. That is weird at best. Maybe he's going to turn that into a PF when they, and wait for Huck to actually engage here. Uh, losing a few interceptors, remember even interceptors are valuable at this point. They are very cheap but... If you have enough to make CC, you're way ahead, and that is true. It's just Huck and TLO, and uh, TLO is actually the only one mining right now. Although he is almost mined out, he still has his bases. He still has uh, one orbital command and making a second one here. Planetary Fortress to hold this position, and he will be able to actually mine from this base as soon as this is mined out. So TLO is way far ahead right now. 
<laughs> I deserve a medal if you win. That is right, because this ghost has been alive for a long time, trying to kill whatever he can. And this is going to be it, the final engagement here between TLO and Huck. Who's going to come out ahead? These Archons are so valuable right now. They are doing huge splash damage to all these Marines. These carriers are in a great position, actually, on the high ground here. And will TLO be able to actually hold this back? I think he is. These carriers have no interceptors left in them. Zero interceptors for every carrier. They are going to pick, get picked off. And Hawk GG is out of here. And TLO is the grand winner of this epic, epic free-for-all from Team Liquid. And thank you guys for watching. I will be uploading these to YouTube as soon as it's over. I have Susan. I'm done encoding them. Thanks for watching. And I am out.